Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lockdown Performance. So today, I've made a few amendments to this tune. Um, let's just go into it quickly. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, waiting for it to open. Why is it taking so long? Not responding. Okay, it's probably because this thing's just started up. Oh no, here we go. All right, so I've changed a few things. Fan controls, fueling, idle. da dee da dee da Oh, well, no, I haven't changed the fueling. That was actually changed in the stage one. I've just changed the warm-up um, RPM limiter. And I've changed the fan control as well. And what else have I done? I have also... Oh, let's go into the home. I've changed a few things around here. 3,250 RPM limit. No shift limit. 6,000. Haven't done anything to the um, DTCs for now. And also I have increased the rolling or oh, the roll for the launch control to 30 Ks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go back to the tunes. I'm going to uh, turn the car on. And I'm going to, this is the one that I'm gonna flash here. I'm gonna flash it. Hit next. Okay, tune customizer, yes. Next. Yes. Ignition key on. Flashing new tune. So what's gonna happen with this tune is it's gonna idle a bit faster, 1000 RPM, and it's going to have the rev limiter until it hits 60 degrees on the coolant temp. So yeah, as you can see, it's working there. 30%, it's pretty quick. Um, with the uh, fan control, I've um, changed the, f uh, the first fan to come on at 81, second one 84. I don't think the second one's working, but anyway. That's just a way it's going to be for now until I have a look at that fan and the reason why it's not working. So basically doing this, I won't have to switch it on and off anymore. It'll just do it automatically. Um, and yeah, see how it goes, see how it runs. Obviously, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to make a difference in how it runs because it's still running fairly rich, but it might idle a little bit better. So I think that's it, 100%. And now we'll click next. Next, preparing your car for use. Clearing this, that, 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 that. Okay, finish. So we're done. Now we're gonna to go to dashboard. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn that on. Coolant temperature 16. I turn this off and then turn it back on. Now I'm going to try to start it. Okay. AFR is dropping to 11.152, which is very, very annoying. But anyway, uh, let it run a bit and I'll get back to you. It's only 29 degrees at the moment, so yeah. Air pumps off. The 
that's it. One thing that's interesting is this car is not re not showing any um, engine issues. Like, there's no engine life, which is very strange because normally there was an engine light. So I don't know what the go is there. Maybe it could be something to do with the tune. So we got 79 degrees. Uh, idles at like a thousand, which is pretty good. Fan hasn't cut in yet. But yeah, no, that's heaps better. Just got to make sure this fan cuts in at 81 degrees. It's at 80 now, it's just clicked over 80. We'll wait. Quite sure I set it at 81. For the first one anyway. Might have been 82 actually. I can't hear nothing. So. Yeah, no, nothing yet. Alright, I can hear a fan. Oh, that fan there. I think that one there is not working. But anyway, it's on. And it's saying 82 degrees. And we've got a thousand RPM idle. 81. Still on at 81. It's at 87 at the moment because I sort of had the bonnet closed and had it sitting on the freaking edge of the ramp for a bit while I was revving it. Maybe the higher idle will make it run a little bit hotter as well, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe once the other fan's going, it'll maintain that temperature a little bit better, but I mean, I've I've got a friend who's running idling his at 12.50, so, yeah. So that's at 90 now with one fan running and it's pretty much been sitting here idling for like oh, at least 15 minutes 15 20 minutes bonnets open yeah I know but I've still got all this stuff in here and only one fan going idles up a bit higher AFRs at 15.1 and no errors on the dash so yeah what I'll do I'll finish making the hangers for this exhaust probably bring it down just a fraction sort out that rattle which is probably heat shield and then give it a paint she's done anyway Thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you on the next episode.